Hey everyone, welcome to this summary of Horizon 4's Update 28. This one was pretty short and sweet, but we did get some pretty highly requested cars and one brand new feature. So let's go ahead and dive right into the festival playlist and then talk about Horizon's brand new Backstage Pass. All right, so starting with the overall Series 28 rewards, 50% will get you a Backstage Pass, which we'll talk about later. 80% uh, gets you another chance at the Toyota AE86, which if you didn't get the first time around, definitely pick this up, obviously if you have any interest in drifting. Super iconic car. Uh, then Summer gets us our first new car at 50%, the GMC Cyclone, and 80% the Renault Clio. Uh, you can also get here the Ferrari 488 Pista from the Season Event and the Jaguar I-Pace from the Summer Games. And then Autumn, we don't get any brand new cars, but we do get some pretty great ones either way. 50% gets you the Zenvo TSRS, the one with the crazy wing, and 80% the Volkswagen IDR, that electric hill climb crazy machine that is actually really, really good for a couple of Rivals events. And then here you can also get the Atal Design Zero Uno from the Season Event, as well as one of the older Corollas, and the 85 RX-7 from the Trial. And then moving into winter, at 50% we get another new vehicle, the GMC Typhoon instead of the Cyclone. Uh, and 80% gets us the Ford Supervan 3. You can also get from the trial another chance at the MR2 and another chance to grab the uh, 94 Celica from the season event. Finally, in spring, 50% gets you the HSV GTSR and 80% the FD Ferrari. And in season events, you can get our last new car, the Hennessy Velociraptor, and another chance to get the Speedtail. So not only are there chances to get some pretty good cars that they've released in the past, we also get three new trucks, which they really don't add a lot of. There's been quite a few SUVs and of course sports cars here and there, but uh, we really do not get a lot of trucks in the game. And I know people have been wanting these back in Forza. So now we have them, let's go ahead and check them out a little bit. Now trucks are not really my thing, uh, but these are about as cool as old school trucks get. And I actually didn't know this, but the GMC Cyclone was apparently the fastest production car at the time. Um, I think from zero to 60 was my guess, like beating out Ferraris of the time. I would imagine just because it had good power, a lot of torque and weighed nothing and was all wheel drive. So that is your formula right there for a pretty quick car. You know, obviously the Cyclone and the Typhoon aren't really uh, your daily driver cars, but they give off that vibe and they weren't that expensive. I mean, you would see their tuned down versions all over and both of these were based on really, really popular average Joe kind of cars. Uh, the Chevy Blazer, which was the same as the GMC Jimmy, is the Cyclone and then it was the Sierra or maybe it was Sonoma. I, someone will correct me in the comments. I'm terrible at knowing trucks. Uh, either way, based on super, super popular cars. So I think this kind of satisfies the daily driver fan crowd that just want normal cars in Forza Horizon. However though, the Hennessy Velociraptor is not a regular car, and I don't know, well I guess it's not the only, but this is one of the very few vehicles in game uh, that has more than four wheels. <laughs> and So this should be a pretty fun one to do some off-roading in and do some jumping and stuff. Uh, makes good power and just looks ridiculous. So again, not really my style, but uh, I know this is making some of you guys out there happy. So let's go ahead now and talk about that new feature, Backstage Pass. And what this is, is sort of a way for you to choose what type of rare car you want to get through the festival playlist. So instead of the developers picking every single car that goes into the festival rewards, you know, from like 50 and 80% in the season events, you can instead sometimes get a backstage pass. And then you can either drive over to the festival backstage, or you can just access from the pause menu. And as you can see, it lets you spend that backstage pass on a rare vehicle. Now right now there's only a few. I think they mentioned that actually the Lotus would be the only one in there at launch, but I might have misunderstood that because obviously there's four here. But either way, they're gonna be adding a lot more cars to this through that voting system you see on the left. So you will be able to vote every week on a new vehicle to add to the Backstage Pass cars. And I'm fairly certain you can do that whether or not you even have a Backstage Pass. Uh, so make sure you just every week log in and vote for whichever car you want to be, I believe, permanently added to this roster. 
Now, since the list is obviously pretty small, either one or four cars at the beginning, for the first week, they're gonna be doing voting rounds every single day. So if you wanna have an influence on how this car list gets stacked up, make sure that when this new update goes live, you're logging in every day and voting on what the new Backstage Pass car should be. And with that, that's pretty much all there really was to the update. Uh, there was apparently some big fix, I think for PC players, apparently it would throw up an error called application hang or something along those lines. And that has supposedly now been fixed. Now that's not something I knew about, I don't think I've ever gotten that, but they seem to think it was pretty important. So hopefully uh, it is a good fix and whoever was struggling with that doesn't have to deal with it anymore. So guys, that just about wraps it up for this update. Thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you for the next one.